Jesus Christ, it's bright. This is where all the online... All the online records are. This game has high scores. Let's see. Uniter of the world. Look at this guy. 239 deaths. 18 trophies. Sir Bulo 89. Hours played, 25. 65 hours. Look at that. So yeah, there were uh, a bunch of things. These are all just people who have beaten the game. Local. These are local files, I think, that have beaten the game. There's treasure ahead. Most souls obtained. Look at this guy. Two dragon bone smashers. <laughs> Some of these have to be uh, hacked files. Right? Or maybe they just brought their, their character online and it automatically updated. Fourth most souls obtained. Man, when this game first came out, it was probably really interesting to look at these and most phantoms saved. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a hacking problem here. This guy is killed negative. What is that? 803 million black phantoms. <laughs> In 30 hours. It's a shame that people just come in and ruin this shit. With these negative numbers. It would have been very interesting to see like. Like wow this guy's helped. 500 people online you know. It is what it is though. People are going to be little shits. Yeah, there's a stone of ephemeral eyes up here that you can only get if you're playing online. It's just an extra item. Not too crazy, but nice that it's there. People got to fucking ruin everything. It is what it is, quite honestly. Surprised the server, I mean, I'm sure when this fan server first went up, they probably cleared a lot of those obviously hacked ones, but over time they probably just keep popping up and there's no, there's no real use. All right, all the way down. We got to deposit our stuff, level up. We're going with the, uh, the meat cleaver build with the cracked talisman of beasts it's pretty op the maiden controls inhuman souls oh we should put our what sign down that? what if someone summons us that'd be fucking awesome every time we go into a level we'll just put our sign down at the beginning just to see i forgot how much faith we need but we do need Strength and Dex. Get some vitality as well, just because our being in pure black, we're uh, going to have our health cut. That's probably fine. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, lady. Put away all this upgrade material, any equipment we're not going to use. I mean, honestly, probably just going to go grab the Crescent Falchion. Normally, I really wouldn't just because past the first couple playthroughs, it's a little bit less interesting to use the Crescent Falchion, but you know, we're going to be going pure black, so makes it a little more dangerous. Might as well take the advantages we can get. See if we can roll still. We're too fat. Fuck. Probably swap our boots out and then roll. 
hard leather. Old ragged. You have a heart of now we, dude, we have the witch build. We made ourselves look like a, a spooky witch lady. Now we have the old ragged set. We're a raggedy old witch. I love her little run. All right, you buy the grass. Look at that. You're doing okay now. Put the grass on. Throw the next seal binding on here just in case. I guess we could put Old Spice on our bar just because that's another healing item for us. We do have the, the healing miracle. This cleric class is really good. It starts with a healing miracle and a great shield. Heater shield's going to be really nice for the spider boss. Saint Urbane. Yeah, we gotta. We actually should put our little summon sign on our bar. That way we can remember to use it. Do that. Soul sign seeks to help other world warrior. Can we use this while human? I really didn't play. Fuck, we have to be a phantom. I really didn't play any much of the online when I first uh, played this game. Oh shit, we're in pure black. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> We have to fight Satsuki. Ah, uh, we do not deal any damage to this guy. We might have to come back later. This Dude, that's a backstab and it deals no damage. We're going to give this one go and see if we can get past these enemies. Wow, okay. We gotta, we gotta go somewhere else. Dude's got a lot of health. <laughs> or we could try and death run. I, I thought we could kill the skeleton pretty quick. Let's give it one more try. My other question is like, if we get far enough away from him, he might actually leave us alone. Oh my God, there's more. Oh, we could also potentially maybe bait him to a cliff. There isn't one right by the start, but there is one right where I died. Obviously, we'll give this a couple more tries here. If only we had a way to like poison him or something. Wow, he literally just one shot me. <laughs> I was going to see if I could parry him and then run. I don't think that's the move either. Go figure. All right. Um, couple more tries here. A couple more. Holy shit. Dude went over the rock. Yeah, I was not expecting this uh, skeleton black phantom either. Fuck, dude, they roll so fast. It actually looked like he might have given up. Maybe we just run into the next room and turn around and see how far he follows. Use fist weapons on the next enemy. That is a great message that I would love to upvote. We're in a bit of a predicament right now. I'm just kind of curious. Damn, he's really, he's following us all the way in. Leash range too big. All right, we'll come back later. We might have to think, think a little bit about our approach. Maybe we can get some like, uh, was there, is there like a poison knife? Something, something to give us an edge. Right now, that's uh, that one's not gonna happen. <laughs> I just hope we don't go somewhere else and get fucked in the same way. 
could always go here. Gotta think about my approach here. Tower Knight is probably doable. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go here. We can get the crushing battle axe pretty easily. And armor spider shouldn't be too hard. I actually remember reading a forum post. From like many, many years ago. Where someone's like. I actually got my uh, world tendency to pure black and Setsuki won't let me buy now. <laughs> he just keeps killing me. It's like, well, that's how the game works. You got to just try something else. That red skeleton was a bit of a surprise, though, so I'm curious to see where else we're going to find some... Uh, some nice little enemies that we don't expect. We also have the primeval demon down there, which is great. We're going to be able to upgrade our adjudicator shield fully quite easily, actually. We already have enemies ambush. I guess it is kind of an ambush, huh? Not necessarily outright, but if you dash in this room, this guy's going to potentially give you some trouble. Man, I really would like the regenerator ring. That kind of blows that Satsuki is so fucking strong. Hold on, sir. Shit. He's rubbing his belly. I'm trying to think what else we could get. I don't remember. The Blessed Mace is pretty early on in the Valley of Defilement. That would actually be pretty dank. I love his little walk. There's some good damage. That guy's fucking brutal, man. One more little go here. Yeah, their uh, grass drops are pretty damn good, though. Right, not get fucked here. Is that guy already weakened? Why is that guy... Did he maybe throw a rock at himself? Somehow. Mace reaches, like, just slightly further than it looks. At least that's how it feels. Not so much that we can... Yeah, like that looks like it probably shouldn't have hit. Not so much that we can hit stuff from terribly far away, but... Nice. Don't know how that message got put there. Or am I mistaken? I might be mistaken on where the Blessed Maze actually is. I think it might actually be a little bit deeper in the level than I'm thinking. Alright, we'll kill this primeval demon, but we'll have to reload the game because it'll send our our world tendency towards white. Hello, sir. We do get a colorless demon soul from it, though. Be really good once we get the adjudicator shield fully upgraded. All right, we go up, we go out, or maybe we should just proceed on. We might be able to get this shortcut open if we just go, because the world tendency doesn't change until we actually reload the stage. This is a great note. Let me, let me recommend this message. Damn, even a backstab. 
doesn't deal a whole lot. These guys are resistant to slashing. Alright, we don't want to get a pickaxe in our back. Hold on now. About to check my inventory until we got rudely interrupted. What does this look like? 20 less damage. Honestly, I think my first playthrough I used the crushing battle axe for the most part until we got the dragon bone smasher. Shard of spider stone, a little bit of a hint at the, the boss later in the stage. So we are seeing some more upgrade materials for the most part. No crescent? Some bitch. Come on. I gotta remember that we also have a healing spell. I keep forgetting that. Oh, we nicked him on the butt somehow. Don't know how exactly, but you won't question it too hard. Nice, healthy, healthy little spell there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Leave these guys be so they don't all turn on us. Beware of false messages. See, I feel like I kind of enjoy how restrictive the uh, message system is to an extent. We haven't seen any, like, try horse butthole. Haha. -ha. So funny. No one has ever made that joke before. We haven't even seen, like, oh, sticky white stuff. Wow, he fucking nearly one shot me. What the fuck? I don't know. It's probably just because the player base is so much smaller as well. I feel like when you have fewer players, they tend to take it a little more seriously to some extent. Yeah, he kind of gave us the fucking business, unfortunately. And now our world tendency has moved as well because we killed the demon there. So we'll set a message and then we'll reload. I think it can just be anywhere. Requesting a challenger. And we will quit. When we come back in, it'll be back to pure black. Those fat guys are fucking bulky, man. Two two tunnels. Oh, I forgot to put down my sign. Someone was in Stone Fang Tell 1. I don't know if that is counting me. Seven deaths total. Oh, no. I probably won't. I don't know. I haven't seen much about it, and I just honestly don't have much interest. Not to say anything disparaging about it, because I really don't. Why is Boltarian Palace? Last time it turned them all black. I don't, hold on. Oh, maybe it's because I need to leave the stage? I don't know. I don't know. There's just so many games to play that I feel like a game really has to excite me for me to be like, yes, I want to get that. Yeah, let's go here. This will get us a lot of grass. A lot of the enemies here drop grass. That's what we kind of need right now. I don't know. It's just one of those things. I know. That's true. You caught me. Fuck. I do have a pretty big backlog as I play this again. 
Oh, I'm just in the mood for this. I needed something like comfort food wise. But aside from that, like my Steam library is overflowing with stuff that I really should play and like inside I want to play it, but it's hard sometimes, man. When a game starts feeling like a, like something I gotta, you know, knock off my list of to do, then I feel like it's not the right moment. Forgot to uh, drop off all my rocks, so we're going to go do that. Hate to hit the item carry limit halfway through the stage. That would make me very sad. That's why I'm, I'm kind of opposed to the idea of a backlog. I just have items to play. But I feel like if I wrote it down and was like, this is my to-do list of games to play, that would be a little depressing. <laughs> that would make it feel like a chore, in my opinion. Duke. Hello, Stockpile Thomas. Please take these items. Stockpile them, if you will. Please take your dead daughter's hairpin or whatever. I think we have to advance this dialogue a little bit more. Ring of Herculean Strength. Shit. Okay, we'll get to where we need to be eventually. We just can't get past fucking Satsuki. God, I wish we could, though. Regen ring and adjudicator shield would be so spicy. Where of the liar ahead? Especially with how, like, deprived of grass we are right now. Alright, let's put the sign down. Dude, I'm gonna fucking... I'm going to be so happy if someone summons us. That would be awesome. Oh my god. No one's going to summon us because we're going to be fucking dead. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Please. These enemies are so easy too. Lord. Alright. I don't think we're in anyone's line of sight. Dude, that heal is fucking fat, though. That's nice. Scared. Alright. Beware of not using caution ahead. I like the wording on that. Beware of don't being careful. Don't bother with nothing. I think what that person means is there's items out there that we shouldn't bother with because they'll get us killed. But don't bother with nothing is a pretty good way of saying the same thing. Don't bother with nothing. Nice little grass pickup. Let's put that on our little bar there. Yeah, it's nice. Every area has, like, drops that are much easier to find. Like, Boletaria clearly is the place to go for grass. Tower of Latria gets you a lot of spice. Bucking. Nice. Wooden Catalyst. Not going to use any real spells. We're going to use the uh, cursed weapon. But aside from that, not really going to do us any good. It's kind of weird how tame these early areas are in pure black. By early areas, I mean 1-1 one. One, one and 1-2. One, 
or one not tame at all <laughs> when Setsuki uh, is ready to fuck me up. Kills me in one hit. Beware of horde of foes. I love how that message is also laid down like in firing range of these guys. Try and preserve our grass as well as we can. Oh shit, we have the wrong thing up. <laughs> I imagine we get through this whole playthrough without being summoned a single time, but it would still make me very happy. Just because the player base is so, so thin. I think there were like five people online. You'd have to kind of look and go out of your way to uh, get someone. Which is possible. They would also have to be in body form. So. It's kind of a coin flip. If they're in the area that we're in and not in body form, they're not going to see the sign. Thanks to Three dark moon grass. Fucking huge. The best healing item in the game. All right, let's go get murdered by fucking wolves. There's treasure ahead. Or to foes lies in wait. See, that's a good one because that that warns us in advance. The other one was already in the firing range of those uh, crossbows. Or was that the same message and we were just coming back the other way? I don't think so, right? Maybe it was. We just rated up the message that we didn't like before. I guess the context of moving the other direction made it a little better. Great view. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put a lot of work into that little town down there. That little low fidelity town. I like how when you just see multiple multiple messages, you know something bad's gonna happen. One advises running straight through and the other advises shielding and playing defensive. I say we've got the thief's ring, so it's harder for them to notice us. We're kind of aggroing them one at a time. Another perk of the thief's ring. Mm. Got a little more than one that time. Okay. I thought that third one was coming as well, so I was a little bit more nervous. All right, we're in the clear for the most part. Oh, the soul sign we left has disappeared. I guess we'll put a new one down, but like the idea that anyone would find it down here. A bit questionable. Good day to you, mostly. All right, late moon. His crescent moon's pretty cheap. We might buy a bunch of this. We do need a club at some point. So I'm going to buy that right now. Just so that we have it. We might have a club. I don't know. Fuck it. We need a club for the weapon we want to use eventually. Ah, it's because we got too close to the merchant. That feels pretty fucking bad, I gotta say. I Man, I guess we'll put a new one down here, but... No one's gonna see it, even if they are playing. Man, this server would be fucking bumping. If there was like a hundred people playing, I feel like you'd find a decent amount of activity. with it not being too crowded at the same time. 
It's okay, just having the messages is really nice. And the blood stains. Damn, this guy got fucked. Got the fluted helm as well. God damn. This fan server. Brings my little heart joy. Ow. So we get shot in the back of the head. Sneak an item or two here. Not get too greedy. It's not safe here. But it is. What the fuck? Or does that person mean directly on the message? It's not safe. <laughs> it seemed pretty safe to me. My summon sign. Fuck. Hold on. A little bit more restrictive uh, on the multiplayer here. It's a very nice coincidence. Someone's uh, blood stain is on this dead horse. We might get fucked up here. This is kind of a little bit of a tough segment. The crossbowman giving us hell. Like immediately after you use all your stamina, they're like, hey, here's just a bunch of guys. <laughs> oh my god, there's two. There's two fucking phantoms back there. Is this guy also placed closer? That's really fucking mean, man. Hold on. Hold on. This is an instance where, like, a playthrough like this, the Grave Robber's Ring might actually be pretty good. I mean, the Thief's Ring does well enough on its own, but... I wonder if they stack. Alright, we got two of them. Are these guys just gonna fucking murder me? We do have a bow now. I can actually try and draw them out with the bow. Here, let's do this. Let's put the Talisman... Compound short bow. Make sure we can still roll. Please just aggro one. Uh, okay. Aggroed like not the guys I was expecting. Are we good or is that other guy coming in? Okay. That other guy back there looked like he was aggroed too. Man, these guys are fucking bulky. Dude rips through my fucking stamina bar when he hits my shield too. At least on that last hit. Right, I think we got him. I was also worried about the dragon coming down, but... I think he's giving it a rest just for a moment. Remember about the archers above as well? Okay. Very careful. Use our crescent. Oh my god, please no. I don't want bow. <laughs> Come on. I do want one of you. Okay, he's coming. Jesus, man. I do like the threat of the dragon breathing fire on us, though. It gives us very little room to work with. Because I'm, I'm sure if I walked back down there a little further, the dragon probably would show up. Careful here. These are so easy to exploit. It's quite nice. Perfect. 
That is the benefit of fighting the phantoms is we get more item drops. That's really mean though. Putting four of these fucking blue knights. I mean, that's fucking rough, dude. And they're stronger. Because <laughs> they're black phantoms. Just in case. See, someone's even looking for, for help. If only I had some friends. Oh, did that just dispel my sign without putting a new one down? Okay. Now this guy who's definitely not online right now is... He can summon me. All will be well. 